This image is of our young people fighting for the future of our planet. Their future. A future with opportunities. As we look at the last 50 years, the advances in science, medicine, technology have been inspiring, but also of challenges, climate change, clean energy, clean water. We look at the challenges of biodiversity, our oceans. Right now, the Amazon is burning. It's little wonder our young people feel overwhelmed. At times, we all do. But placards and passion will not be enough to build a sustainable future. We need to be equipping our young people with the tools to build that future. My research is about giving young people those tools. So what tools? The best change management tools on the planet the tools used by global corporations to build and manage their businesses, strategic planning, prioritization, the 80-20 rule, leadership, mentoring, teamwork, global competencies. We gave these tools to Australian and Mauritian students from across the country and asked them to address all 17 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We then let them loose. Now, let them loose is a technical term not often associated with teenagers. However, the results were remarkable. The students moved from overwhelmed to understanding. I get this. Now I understand not only the challenges, but also the solutions to empowerment. Now I understand I want to get involved in addressing these issues. One student's words, I was concerned about the future, but now I have a voice. Never underestimate what young people can achieve. And the students told other students, who told other schools, who told other countries, who told their politicians, their diplomats. And as a result, the research and associated program has extended from Australia to Mauritius, to Singapore, to India, with other countries coming online all the time. So if you're concerned about the future and addressing the challenges we face, invest in giving our young people the tools for that future. It's the best investment you'll ever make.